What is up, heroes? This is Minade Zero, and welcome to week three of the CFL. This week, we're going to be against Sam, coach of the North Ants Ninetales. You can see on screen, we've already got a challenge waiting for us, so I won't keep him waiting too long, but I do want to say before the match that Sam is a good friend of mine, and I always look forward to playing Sam. He's probably my favorite person to play in Pokemon, and though I'm not confident in my team and a little bit concerned, I listen to some Naruto music, and so I've got a little bit more hype flowing through my veins, so... <laughs> That being said, let's uh, let's hop into the match. Okay, so at first glance, interesting team, <laughs> very interesting team. Como is there, which I don't like. Um, it's a very scary Pokemon. He's got the electric terrain setup going, and he has Dust Noir. <laughs> Those of you that have been seeing the previous seasons will, will understand that reference. But uh, yeah, Dusk Noir, very interesting. Shadow Sneak, maybe for some sort of priority. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm glad there's no Togekiss. Incineroar, I'm not too surprised by. Garchomp would have been scary too. Um, so I think with this, as I had mentioned in the past, I think, actually, I mean, Halucha can do really well here, just in general. But I think Chandelure will do a lot better than I had initially anticipated. I think I'm going to want to start off... <laughs> okay, tech. That's that's my line. The hype pipe is my line. So I think what I'm going to want to do... Oh, I should have grabbed a piece of paper. But I actually don't have Ditto this time around, so it's not like I need to keep that close track of things on paper. I think I might lead off with Blissey. Actually, no. I think I'm going to lead off with... Rillaboom. Because I can pretty safely U-turn on most things. Or do I just leave a Tox Effects? I think I'll lead with Rillaboom here. He leads Incineroar. Okay. Interesting. Um, so we'll get to see what type of set this is pretty soon. I can pretty safely U-turn here. He may knock off, he may U-turn himself, he may Flare Blitz. He does need to fear a high horsepower. The question is, do I want to reveal that I'm Scarf or not? Because if I go for a U-turn, he can do some damage cuts and figure out I'm not Life Orb or I'm not Bandit. Um, I probably should. I'll just U-turn here. And then I can go into Tox Effects as he potentially U-turns or Parting Shots or Flare Blitzes or knocks off. Okay, so we get a little bit of chip on that. And again, we're going to go into Pex here. As he goes for knockoff. Okay, to be expected. Now, as is usual, let's run a little bit of calcing. So, <laughs> um, Tox Effects took 26%. Which is notable because a defensive... Or meaning no attack investment in Cineroar cannot do more than 25.5%. Which means he has some attack investment. But if he were max attack, he would do 26% minimum. So he could potentially be max attack, but he's... That's only EVs, actually. So if he's max attack adamant, so an attack boosting nature, he, could not, he can't be that because the minimum would be 28. So he's not max max attack, but he definitely has some attack investment. The question will be, how much? And the other thing is, Rillaboom did how much? Rillaboom's U-turn did 13%, but that's at minus 1. Which means he does not... Which means he has some defense investment. Yeah, if it only did 13%, He's got to have quite a bit of defense investment. So he's got some attack, some defense, meaning he's not max HP and he's not max speed as well. So I think what I can do now, he could go Toga, or not Togekiss, um, Amoongus. I want a Toxic though. Scald is pretty safe, but again, I'd rather... I'd rather just Toxic if he goes Alolan Raichu or Pink Urchin. That's more so what I'd like to hit. If he goes Amoongus, it's kind of a pain. 
he does go Amoongus. Yeah, that's that's pretty annoying actually. Um, it's not the end of the world though. He can't really do a whole lot to me. So I think I'm actually just gonna go Blissey here. He goes for Gastro Acid. <laughs> that's really neat. Sam, I'm really impressed. So Basically, it means my ability is no longer active in this moment. Why is that relevant? Part of why I went into this Pokemon is because, well, if he goes for Spore, I can then switch out and Natural Cure will get rid of the sleep. But because of Gastro Acid, that's no longer the case. So pretty cool, Sam. Pretty cool. I, however, would probably like... He doesn't have any Stealth Rock or any Hazard Control. And... Lissy doesn't really fear this Pokemon too much. I am going to let this go to sleep and get my Stealth Rock, but... Oh, he goes for Toxic instead, not Sleep. Interesting. So he may have predicted the Rillaboom there, which I don't blame him for. So I think what we can do now is actually just teleport. Do I want a Seismic Toss? No. I don't want to stay in and take the extra Toxic damage. It also means that when the next time Blissey comes in, Blissey will be toxic. So I think he might go Como here. So I'm actually just going to teleport. He's not going to Spore. He goes Incineroar, which is not Heavy Duty Boots, notably. So Incineroar is not Heavy Duty Boots. How much does it take from Hawlucha? It would probably die. Because he is at 69% HP. Although, lesson learned, lesson learned, at the end of the turn, he's going to gain 6% from Grassy Terrain Recovery. So he's actually going to be at like 75%. Close combat from Halucha with the amount of defense he has is probably something like, actually like 76% or so. If he's max HP and has quite a bit of defense, he probably still gets knocked out by Halucha. That said, I don't really... I don't really mind just going into Rillaboom and clicking U-Turn again to go into Toxapex again. I think what I'm actually going... Actually, I don't want to reveal that Halucha isn't Grassy Seed. I'm actually just going to go Pex again. Because Grassy Terrain will end this turn, actually. And so if I brought Rillaboom in, I wouldn't have the terrain. And so now I can Scald if I want. He knows I have Toxic. He is probably tempted to just go Amoongus again. He's going to U-turn, which is totally fine. He probably should just go Amoongus. Yeah, so hopefully we can fish for a burn here. We do not get it, which is fine, because we can just go Blissey here. We are going to be toxic, which means we cannot be put to sleep or put to sleep by his spore, and it means our ability is back as well. He makes a double predicting that, so good on him. He could Body Press here, he could Earthquake. I think Toxapex is the way to go for me. He goes for Earthquake, which crits, does 88% damage. It probably would have done around 50% normally. But it confirms... Oh, Lizzy. But it confirms that he is an offensive... Como, which is what I did not want to see. I swear I have only show my imported sets. There we go. Okay. So he is Life Orb Como. Which means he is doing a lot of damage. He did 88 with a crit. Um, I guess, I mean, we can throw the crit on the calc here. And... Hmm. He's gotta be... 
like max attack. Let's see here. Yeah, he's got to be adamant max attack in order to do 80... 88.1% is the maximum amount of damage it could have done if he's max attack, adamant, life orb, coma -o. So, yeah, there's no doubt he is adamant, life orb. So now he can go for whatever move he wants um, because he knows I'm going to switch. The question is, what do I switch into? He could have poison jab, he could go for a dragon type move, he could go for body press um, or close combat. If he is a setup Pokemon, he could go for that. Honestly... Darn, I really want to keep this around. I think Rillaboom can take a hit from just about anything. But it doesn't really fix much of the situation, honestly. I'd have to switch out regardless. Hmm. Do I go hard Halucha? I don't have very many good answers for this. Do I just sack Pex? I don't like that idea, but it honestly may, might be better. I don't have a great answer to this. Do I go hard Rapidash? Nah, I don't think that's the play either. I think, I think I'm gonna stack Pex here, which actually like kind of sucks. So I can get a safe switch into Galarian Rapidash. How much does Rapidash take? It probably takes a lot from most things this would do. Yeah, Earthquake would knock out Galarian Rapidash. How much do I need Galarian Rapidash? I need it to be able to revenge kill this thing. I'm gonna Toxic here. He goes for Drain Punch, we do not live. Darn. So that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame. Um, so we know he's Drain Punch and Earthquake. He's at 80%. How much would he take from Halucha? Acrobatics, I mean, he's not gonna take a lot until I've used my Citrus Berry. So I do need to go Rapidash, I think, to threaten this thing out. So out comes the Galarian Rapidash. Play Rough is a pretty solid move here. So I think I'm going to go for that. Hits everything neutrally, except for um, Amoongus. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I guess. Or not, right? Um, so we know he's not max defense, but Play Rough would have 2 it KO'd. So that's a shame, especially because I could have just clicked Play Rough twice and um, my, inc I mean, my Incineroar answer, Toxapex, is gone, which is why it's relevant <laughs> that this thing did not get hit by that, because it would have been too KO'd by Play Rough. So now the question is... Is he gonna U-turn? Is he gonna knock off? Honestly, he's probably gonna knock off. I probably don't need my choice Scarf on Rillaboom.
It's really only there for Alolan Raichu. The thing is, I'm either going to give... It's either Blissey or Rillaboom here. So I know he's got some attack investment. And Blissey will probably take quite a bit from a knockoff. Yeah, and he could have superpower. Though I don't think he does. I think I need to give up my scarf, unfortunately. Actually, no, I go I go Blissey here. He goes for knock. We take that decently. I don't like it, but... Now he U-turns into Como. Unless he has superpower, but honestly, or like close combat. Um... Which is an interesting question. Do I teleport and risk it? And ensure that I get the momentum I want? I don't think he'll Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz would knock me out. He's going to anticipate either a teleport or a recovery move. So I'd bet he's going to U-turn here into Como. I don't think he would knock off twice. Chandelure is kind of like the safe-ish play. But even then, there's not a lot I can do after that. I'm going to teleport. He has the Drain Punch, and that sucks a lot. So... Now what? Um, he gets a whole bunch of health back, and we basically lost Blissey, too. Because, I mean, we can try to recover against Amoongus, I guess. If we want, or maybe Pink Urchin, because we outspeed that. I think it's time to bring in Halucha. But the thing is, Dusk Noir is probably bulky. It's probably a bulky Dusk Noir set. And I don't think Halucha is going to be able to take that thing on. At, at plus two, Acrobatics does like... 74% if it's max HP, but that's without any defense investment, and I bet it's going to be bulky. But I think I need to go Halucha to scare this thing out, honestly. Although, I think he lives in attack. So yeah, we'll go we'll go Halucha. It's our only option at this point. So yeah, he will probably live a close combat, so he could stay in to attack me if he wanted to. Let's see, I think he's like. Well, I guess I could calculate real quick how much would Incineroar do with like knockoff and stuff. Yeah, he looks to be about, not like, max attack, but, um, still quite a bit. How much did knockoff do? Did 34% to Blissey. Yeah, so he, he can't be max max attack, because that would be too much, that would be too little damage. So, he's not max attack. How much would his Incineroar do? Flare Blitz would do a lot which he very well may have. Which means, if he survives a close combat, well, he actually probably won't.
so here's the tough part. <laughs> Flare Blitz doesn't knock me out, and I could Swords Dance. Meaning I would knock him out the next turn. I think Close Combat would knock him out, given that... Well, that doesn't account for the defense. Um, close Combat probably doesn't knock him out, meaning I can't Close Combat here, because my defense will be lowered and Flare Blitz will probably knock me out. He could have Will-O-Wisp or something like that. I think I have to hard Swords Dance here. He stays in, what's he gonna go for? Flare Blitz. 75%, we get our Citrus Berry. Meaning, we're kind of uh, we're kind of all in with Hallucha right now. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So close combat is gonna knock this out. Um, the question is, will acrobatics? We are plus two. We have used our item. He's at sixty-six percent. So acrobatics will knock this out. Well. He's not max HP and max defense. So yeah, Acrobatics will knock this out, and I can't let him switch into Dusk Noir on a close combat. That could be one way that he potentially chokes the game away, is if he goes hard Dusk Noir no right now as I go for Acrobatics. But yeah, he's at 66% HP. If he's max HP, he needs to be more than 150 defense to get a... I mean, at 150 defense and max HP, it does a minimum of 66%. Acrobatics does. Given how much attack he has, I don't think he's that max max. So I think I am just going to go for acrobatics here. I definitely can't SD, and again, I don't think I can give him the afford to give him the free switch into Dusk Noir if he really wanted to go for it. I think technically his play is to sack. Yeah, is to sack this thing to close combat, but he may try to save it. He saves it and goes into Dusk Noir as we go for acrobatics and do a lot. It's Rocky Helmet, okay. Things are tense, <laughs> things are very tense because, oh my God, does he have Shadow Sneak? He probably does, but how much is that gonna do? We have to go for acrobatics here. He goes for the, so he gets the Intimidate off, notably. And goes Dusk Noir again. That was a good play on his part. I wasn't sure if he was going to Shadow Sneak, so I don't feel bad about that. Yeah, we've got an acro here. He goes for the Sneak, and I think we're going to die due to Helmet. Yeah, we die. So that is not good. <laughs> I think we can still do it. because of Galarian Rapidash, of all things. But I think it's doable. Wow, if he did not have Rocky Helmet on that Dusk Noir, that was game. But he obviously brought Dusk Noir specifically for Halucha, so good, good job, Sam. Now... Now what? Hmm. Do I go Galarian Rapidash and just threaten out anything? Pink Urchin could do quite a bit to Rapidash because Rapidash is Rapidash. And I wouldn't be able to do much back to it. But I can't really afford to let him go Como. Can I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Galarian Rapidash. Don't go Pink Urchin. He goes Pink Urchin. 
because that's just how this works, right? Um, okay. So I need to keep this thing alive. I can't let it take rising voltage damage. He's probably gonna go for some support type move, but I've gotta go Rillaboom here to change the terrain and so I don't so I don't take like five million percent and I resist a lot of his attacks. He goes Amoongus, which is a good play. Um, he could Sludge Bomb here or Giga Drain. I don't have a great way of handling this. I think Blissey lives anything this Amoongus could go for. Just because it's an Amoongus? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna take... Uh, I hope he doesn't go Como. He might go Como. He doesn't. He goes for Clear Smog, which is his way of potentially dealing with a Swords Dance Rillaboom. So, is he going to Spore here? Is he going to Spore? So here's the thing. He could switch hard into Como here, and that's his mix-up right now. I could heal with Soft Boiled, which would be really nice. But if he goes into Como, that's uh, very not nice. If I predict him to go Como, hmm, I think I'm gonna teleport here. He does go for Spore. So this is an interesting turn. This is a very, very interesting turn. We know his entire set, Gastro Acid, Toxic, Clear Smog, and Spore. He could go hard Como here, which, if my Blissey is in, would be a very bad time. I've burnt one turn of sleep though, so I could try to teleport here and potentially wake up the next turn, if he does that. But if I don't want to risk that, I could hard switch out. But then the caveat is, what if he stays in and go, goes for Toxic or Spore again, and then one of my other Pokemon is either poisoned or put to sleep? I'm going to teleport. He goes Pink Urchin, okay. And we stay asleep, which means I believe we're guaranteed to stay awake the next turn. However, or wake up this turn. I think so. Let's look this up on Google real quick. Wait, that's Gen 1. How many turns can a Pokemon be asleep? Okay, so I'm going to wake up this turn. <laughs> Glad I confirmed that. Um, how much is Pink Urchin doing, though? So, with Rising Voltage, it could knock me out if it has some special attack investment. If I don't heal. So, I could wake up and go for Soft Boiled. And heal up and take whatever hit he goes for. Knowing that that's an option for me, Sam may just go hard into Como, which would be a really bad position. Knowing that Sam could do that, I could click Teleport here and guarantee to get the momentum I want. <sighs> that sucks. If he goes Como, I could try to go Chandelure. So I'm going to Soft Boiled here. He goes Como. At the very least, Blissey's healthy, <laughs> I guess. Um, he could knock me out with Earthquake here. No, I don't think he can knock me out with Earthquake. Although, he is really strong. We're going to say he's like max attack, adamant, life orb, if I recall correctly. How much would his Earthquake do? So Earthquake would not knock out Blissey. 
So the question is, does he go for Drain Punch here, or does he go for Earthquake? Or something else. We don't know two of his moves, and they could be a Dragon-type move, they could be a Fire-type move. I'm tempted to go... Rillaboom? But even then... Rillaboom can't really do much back. I have Acrobatics, but it's not going to do enough. <sighs> Chandelure is helpful for potentially Raichu, potentially Amoongus. I'm gonna go... Oh, does he have a dragon move? If he has a dragon move, now is the time to go for it. I'm gonna go Chandelure. He goes for Poison Jab. Okay, so he predicted the Rillaboom. Now, I don't know if he's Bulletproof or Soundproof or Overcoat. I would expect him to be Bulletproof, anticipating a potential Shadow Ball, so he probably knows that I'm not gonna go for Shadow Ball here. I think I have to go for Toxic. Toxic is just really helpful for ensuring that this thing will lose HP if it stays in for a long period of time. And he doesn't know if I have like Overheat or something else, and I think I'm okay if I lose Chandelure. So I'm gonna click Toxic here. We land, which is a godsend. <laughs> so he takes Life Orb damage, and he takes Toxic damage. So now, what can we do? He's almost in range of Woodhammer from Rillaboom, but not quite yet. So what we are going to do is go into our Galarian Rapidash, and we're going to click Play Rough or Zen Headbutt. One of those two. He's probably going to go Pink Urchin here. Both of those moves, by the way, will definitely kill Como. It's just about how much would it do to Pink Urchin. I didn't get any damage off on that thing last time, nor did I take an attack. So I don't really know much about its set. But Zen Headbutt, if it's max HP, max defense, it definitely gets two hit KO'd. Well, it's actually gonna take rocks one more time. It's at 75%, so it'll come in at 62% or 63% about. Meaning it is two hit KO'd by Zen Headbutt, making Zen Headbutt the best play here. Because it'll also hit Amoongus super effectively and would two hit KO that. The only exception where Zen Headbutt doesn't work well is if he goes Alolan Raichu, but even then, it'll still take a lot of damage because Alolan Raichu has, like, no defense. It's just that it's a resisted hit. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, okay. So... He goes Alolan Raichu which is at double speed now. Um, I think our play here is to just go Rillaboom. Rillaboom should be able to take a hit. We do have some bulk, which is nice. So we should be able to take a Psychic, even if he's Modest Life Orb. And in our grassy terrain, we will actually outspeed him. So... Yeah, our play is to just go Rillaboom here. He's Focus Punch. He is Focus Punch Alolan Raichu. Oh my god, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you madman. <laughs> so, so Alolan Raichu is almost exclusively a special attacking Pokemon. Knowing that, Blissey was obviously my check 
for Alolan Raichu to prevent that thing from getting out of hand. It can take any special hit from it. Sam, knowing that Blissey would be my answer, put Focus Punch on Alolan Raichu, a base 150 fighting physical type attack that if you don't get hit during a turn, at the end of the turn, you hit the opponent with it. And that would probably do a lot with the life orb. Sam, that is some really creative tech. Either way, I think we U-turn here. He may stay in, actually not knowing whether or not we outspeed him, and we could knock out Alolan Raichu, which would be really nice. But I do think U-turn is our play here, in case he goes Pink Urchin or Amoongus. So he does go Amoongus, which is also Rocky Helmet. Darn it. Um, however, we do get some information about this Amoongus, which is notable. So our U-turn did how much damage? It did 21%, which means Amoongus probably he can't be max defense. If he was max defense, he could take 20.1% max. But instead, he lost 21%. So he's not quite max defense. How much damage is Rapidash going to do with the Zen Headbutt? 61.4% to 72.3%. However, at the end of this turn, Amoongus is going to get 6% of recovery from Grassy Terrain. So, now what? How much would Clear Smog do? How much would Clear Smog do to a Galarian Rapagash? Not a lot, but I can't let it get put to sleep. So I think I actually need to go Blissey here. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. So Blissey comes in. I think we Seismic Toss here. If he goes into Como, that thing will probably die. Probably. But I, uh, I need to get some damage off on Amoongus, honestly. Or do I teleport, anticipating the Como switch? Is he going to spore me? Is he going to Toxic? I Seismic Toss. I don't do a lot of damage, but he does go for the Spore. However, I could switch into Galarian Rapidash here and knock it out the next turn. I'm going to do that. Hopefully he doesn't spore here. Does he double spore? He does not double spore. That is a very big play because now we keep Como -O out. So like I mentioned last time, Zen Headbutt is our play here. So that's what we're gonna click. He goes Amoongus. This should get to a KO'd if we hit. Can we please hit a move? Can we please hit a move? Are you kidding me? That literally would have been the game. <laughs> that literally would have been the game right there if we hit Zen Headbutt. I can't even... I can't even... Okay, so I think we go back into Blissey here. Does he Spore on the Switch? Does he go hard Como here? Yeah, I think we have to go Blissey as he goes for Clear Smog to do some damage. We actually could have tried to 2 it KO there because Clear Smog would not have knocked us out.
But I mean, this thing is as good as at full health basically now, so we'll teleport. As he goes, Pink Urchin, which means we can go Rillaboom. Which is not quite knocked out by Woodhammer yet. Although, actually, no, that was without the, what's it called, the grassy terrain calculation. So, in grassy terrain, this thing will actually take a lot. I think our next, I think our move here is to click knockoff. Because that will be more helpful against Amoongus. We still haven't seen this pink urchin do anything. I don't know anything about it. Or do I just U-turn here? If I U-turn and he stays in, I go Blissey. I like that. Takes 31%. So this is definitely not max defense. It has investment somewhere else, but it's not defense. Because max HP doesn't even take, still takes 30.6% 30 30 max, which I guess could be rounded to 31%. So this definitely has some offensive investment. If I had to guess, he's going to go for Memento here, which could be problematic. Or he's going to set, is there like an electric terrain move? I think there is. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta go Blissey here. He goes for Substitute. Is he going to... What is Pink Urchin's HP stat? It's horrible. Okay, so I can break this thing Substitute with Seismic Tosses. Is he gonna Toxic or Recover here? I'm very confused. I need water. Yeah, so there's the recover. He could try to stall me out with stuff like toxic, I guess. Toxic and substitute. I think my play is to teleport here, anticipating him to switch out into Amoongus here. And if he goes Amoongus... If he goes Amoongus, he's gonna come in... Wait, is he not Regenerator? He might not actually be Regenerator. I don't remember that. Is he gonna come in at less than... At like 70%? Because if so, that's potentially... In range for... um. Galarian Rapidash. I'm going to Seismic Toss here, as he stays in. Okay. And he substitutes again. I think the intent might be to try to stall out my Seismic Tosses. I think so, actually. For the time being, we'll keep Seismic Tossing. He recovers, but eventually, I mean, I think I'm gonna wear him down. Seismic Toss does a lot. And I can always teleport into U-Turn with um, Rillaboom. So I'll Seismic Toss again here as he substitutes. So I think he's trying to get to a healthy amount of HP here. But Seismic Toss plus Substitute are doing 58%, so over time he's actually going to start losing HP because the grassy terrain isn't around anymore. So I can comfortably continue Seismic Tossing. And yeah, okay, so he either has to commit to getting more HP like that by going for recovers multiple times in a row, or he's not going to be able to um, 
stall me out. But I guess he has speed investment in order to outspeed me. Interesting. So he must have seen this situation coming. The question is, what attacks does he have? The other thing, though, is I don't need many seismic tosses, just in general. So... I mean, I guess it's okay for now. I'll, I'll play along for now. So, he should substitute again here. I think I'm going to teleport here. Because this thing's already at a considerable amount of HP, he might just switch out here. I'm going to teleport. And if he stays in, that's totally fine. I'll just go into Rillaboom and U-turn. But I think he may take this opportunity to go... something else. Nope, he stays in. So... We're going to go Rapidash here, actually. And we're just going to go back into Blissey. And see whatever attack he has. Rising Voltage. Okay. And we're going to teleport again. As he goes for Substitute. And we're going to go back into Galarian Rapidash. And we're going to go back into Blissey as he goes for Rising Voltage. And now we'll go for a Seismic Toss and see if he goes for Substitute again or not. He goes for the Rising Voltage. Okay. Will Soft Boiled here? As he goes Como, he gets the play right. <laughs> Good job, Sam. Let's see here. How much would Coma O take? Or how much would Rillaboom take from a drain punch? Why am I why am I doing that? <laughs> from a max attack, adamant, life orb. It would do a lot. And he would recover quite a bit as well. So this is actually a pretty tough spot. Yeah, this is actually a really tough spot. So he can Drain Punch here, or he can Poison Jab, or he can Earthquake. And the thing is, Earthquake and Poison Jab, and probably whatever move he has left, would knock out Galarian Rapidash, but Galarian Rapidash quadruply resists Drain Punch. That would make that the reasonable switch in. The problem is, I definitely cannot sack Blissey to Drain Punch this turn, because then he will restore all of his HP. <laughs> like, all of it. Um, but the question is, and if I go Rillaboom and he goes for Drain Punch, he would probably restore, he would restore enough HP that I wouldn't be able to knock it out with, um, Wood Hammer afterwards. At least probably not. Because he would take Toxic and Life Orb. Which would be, what, 12%, 22%. Actually, he might... Be in range of Woodhammer afterwards, depending on how much HP investment he's got. But Rillaboom. Rillaboom probably, actually, it definitely lives a drain punch. I think that might be my play. So if he goes for drain punch, he's gonna he's gonna heal at most 31% HP. 
which would put him at 60%. And then he's going to get Grassy Terrain Recovery, so 66%. And then minus 22% from Recoil and stuff. Okay, so he would actually probably live Woodhammer, which does 35-41%, to 41%, depending on how much HP he has. Can I win without Galarian Rapidash? No. I think he might Poison Jab here, honestly. I think I can win without Rillaboom if things go wrong. So I'm going to go Rillaboom here. He goes for Poison Jab. Okay, so thank God we didn't go Rapidash. We also could have stayed in with Blissey, um, notably. But now it's down to Rapidash and Blissey to take on the rest of his team. I think they can do it. I've mentioned it multiple times before. But um, if Zen Headbutt would hit, I think this also might be the end of the game. I don't think... No, it, it's still my best play to hit Zen Headbutt. Please. Okay, he is Regenerator. Please hit. We do 73%. 73%. Look how much damage that is. Okay. And how much would Play Rough do? Because Play Rough would do more to everything else. Except I actually don't think I even need to risk it. I don't think so. Um, Play Rough would not knock this thing out if it was max defense, but I don't think it is. I'm going to go for Zen Headbutt again anyways, because Pink, Ur Pink Urchin is in. This is the end of the game if I hit all of my stuff, basically. He has to go Pink Urchin here and sack some Pokemon to get Electric Terrain up for his Raichu, because that's his only way of killing um, Galarian Rapidash. So now it comes down to some interesting mind games. Do I go Blissey here? Interestingly enough... Hmm. If I go Blissey... I think Blissey can do this. I'm going to go Blissey here. Let's see if he goes into Como. He does not go into Como. Which is big. Which is very, very big. So now we're back into the stall shenanigans. So... I'm going to soft boiled here. Wait, we outsped him? Does that mean? <laughs> oh my god, I think that means it's a speed tie. I think that means it's a speed tie. That's almost hilarious. So he's gonna recover here. He should recover here, honestly. He goes for reversal. Interesting. So that's his other move. A physical fighting type attack that increases in damage output the lower your own HP. Do I usually outspeed this thing or am I like going crazy? Let's see here. Or no, I definitely... <laughs> I'm so... 
stupid. I always outspeed this thing. This thing literally can't be faster than me. The only times it went before me, before, was when <laughs> I went for teleport, which makes sense because it's a negative priority move. Great, all right, so we're gonna soft boiled here and heal up. He goes for recover, and we confirm that his item is terrain extender. I'm gonna stealth rock here and waste PP because I have more seismic tosses than substitute plus recover than him right now. Actually, I'm gonna go for one seismic toss here just in case he wants to get cheeky and switch out because the terrain is almost running out. But I also think, I wanna know, so here's the thing, Como is at 13% per showdown. He's gonna take 6.5% from rocks and then 6% from toxic. So it all depends on how Showdown is rounding when it displays that 13% as to whether or not he can even survive one turn. So he's gonna substitute here, so I'm gonna Stealth Rock, which is just wasting PP. I get it. This is kind of what it's come to at this point. His Rising Voltage is gonna do... <laughs> yeah. Tech realizes <laughs> we're at that point. He goes for Rising Voltage again. I teleport into Galarian Rapidash. I can go back into Blissey. We'll see if he wants to... Uh... The thing is, Rising Voltage won't do a lot. Actually, yeah, I know he's not max defense. I know he's not max defense. Play rough is a two hit KO, and when we're not in the terrain, rising voltage is not a two hit KO either. Which means play rough twice could be the end of the game here. But that's also assuming minimum special attack. So we're going Blissey again. Gonna seismic toss here because he might get cheeky and go Como. He does not. He goes for reversal. A little soft boiled. He might go Como here. He might go Como. He doesn't though. Continues with the reversals, which are doing around 17%. He's not quite in range yet. We can go Blissey again, though, as he goes for Rising Voltage, and we can Soft Boiled here. See, the, the thing is, because we're not attacking him, his reversals aren't doing a lot of damage, which means we're not going through our Soft Boils very quickly. And then the other thing is, because we teleport out and then switch back into Blissey, that's one turn Blissey doesn't use PP, but he does. So, at the end of the day, we are stalling him out. I'm gonna seismic toss here in case he wants to substitute. He goes for reversal, which did 32.8%. So this is actually somewhat of a big turn. This is actually pretty interesting. Um, so Blissey, how much am I taking from reversal? He's at what? How much HP? 34%? He's at 34% HP. Reversal is doing how much damage? 34%. So he's got to have some attack investment. Which means if he were to take a substitute now and go down to 9% HP, his reversal would be doing like 66%. Why is that relevant? Well, first of all, it, it actually means 
<laughs> interestingly enough, he's like 1% away. Actually, no, that's fine. So, I can heal up on him if he wants to go for reversal. If he goes for substitute, I'll live the next one anyway. So, yeah, I, I soft boiled here. He goes for reversal. I now live the next reversal. That one did 30.5, right? Which means he does not have as much... Oh, wait, no, that's different. Yeah, so he doesn't have max attack by any means. So Seismic Toss will not knock him out yet, unfortunately. So we should still keep soft boiling. He's got plenty of reversals. The thing is, I'm so annoyed. He's like one HP away. He's one HP away, basically. If I seismic toss him, he'll live with like 1% HP, which will give him a super powerful reversal and knock me out. And then he wins. Because then he switches something out, sacks it, and then goes in for the terrain and then knocks out Galarian Rapidash. So I actually think I go hard Galarian Rapidash here on the reversal, take like no damage. And now I knock this thing out. So I knock this thing out with Zen Headbutt or Play Rough, either works. Here's the interesting mind game here. He needs Alolan Raichu. Well, actually, he doesn't. I don't think he even necessarily needs the terrain with how low Galarian Rapidash is. He needs to make sure that Blissey is low. Hmm. And I don't know if Blissey could take two attacks from Galarian Rapidash right now. No, oh, that might not have been a good play, actually. Yeah, that might not have actually been too good of a play. Oh, it might depend on how much HP Como has. Because he could just substitute here. If he substitutes here and I go Blissey, I think that's my loss. Does Raichu knock me out? Probably. I'm a Galarian Rapidash. Yeah, probably. Hmm. This is tough, actually. I probably should have stayed in. But I wasn't going to get that much better in terms of HP on Blissey. Oh, I think it might really come down to how much HP Como has. Yeah, I've got a Zen Headbutt here. He goes Como and sacks it to bring in Pink Urchin to get the terrain up. This is tight. He goes hard into this. So I think I sack Galarian Rapidash here and then go Blissey and click Seismic Toss twice to win. Does, does Alolan Raichu get Psyshock? I think it does. It does. 
It's 80 base power. How much would Psy Shock do? To Blissey. Max Special Attack Modest Life Orb does 38.2 to 44.9. Blissey lives. So... Yeah. And then the thing is, after Stealth Rock, Pink Urchin will be in range of Seismic Toss. So I think my play here is actually to... So Galarian Rapidash knocks this thing out um, with... So Wild Charge will not miss, most importantly. <laughs> so I can go for that if he wants to go for Focus Punch. But yeah, I think that's my play. He goes for Focus Punch, and we knock it out with Wild Charge. Whew. Yeah, the, I think the only way I threw that... I think my play every time was to do that, but now the play is... Okay, can I win with Wild Charge? It is not max defense. It's not max defense, which means Wild Charge should do like 21 to 25%. Do I go for the 90% accurate move, or do I risk a potential roll on a speculation about his EV spread? We're gonna go for Zen Headbutt. I hate life so much. <laughs> I can't even believe that. Um, so I can still go Blissey, and I should knock this out with Seismic Toss. Hopefully. But Lizzie's getting benched for the rest of the season. <laughs> Galarian Rapidash. <laughs> GG, Sam. <laughs> I cannot even believe the misses and and the crits and such. That was an unbelievable match, but um yeah, Tack, I agree with you 100%. I need to train that Rapidash better, because I think it missed the play rough and two Zen headbutts. I think I only went for, like, five attacks with it. No, seven, eight. Eight attacks, one of which is 100% accurate. So seven inaccurate moves, and three of them missed. Both inaccurate moves are 90% accurate, by the way. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was... Wow. Um... I'll, I'll start off by saying I'm surprised I actually won this. I, from the very beginning, thought I was in a very down position. And even towards the end, with just Rapidash and Blissey against four of his Pokemon. Um... <laughs> yeah, Wide Lens Rapidash from here on out. Um, I am shocked that we won that. But... That took a lot of careful thought about momentum with Teleport, and even just the switching back and forth with Rapidash to not get PP stalled, and and everything. But, oh my goodness, we could have lost that if he recovered there. We could have lost that, but um, we didn't, luckily. With literally just Blissey hanging on, we won that. So I'm, I'm very surprised, I'm very happy about that, and... I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that it was a very slow match, and it was a very long match, and there was some stall thrown in there, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. And um, thanks again, Sam, for what has been by far the most entertaining battle <laughs> thus far. So thanks for all the great mind games, and uh, hopefully we get to play again in the playoffs. But. Until next week, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.